And welcome back. That was a good break. Yep. And between those vi videos, I... Let's see. I read War and Peace. I knit a sweater. Finished an entire LP of Infinite Undiscovery. Oh, wow. To check that out. And then I invented time travel and went back in time, so none of those things ever actually happened. Oh, that's too bad. I was bored. This is our last new enemy for the area, the air cannon. We are officially out of decent names. Mm -hmm. But before I discuss them, first let me say, screw this part. No, oh, it's fine. Stylus controls. The hardest part is, since I have to use, move the mouse around, when you get near the top of the screen, obviously the screen stops scrolling, so I like have to manically click around. You have no idea how much panic clicking went into this. Are you like, you're like dragging it around, or...? No, it's more like the one minigame where you swipe and it goes in that direction, they have to click on it to stop. Oh. Also, that box doesn't have anything important in it. I don't even know what's in it, but it's not important. Don't care what it is, it's still not important. It's the best armor in the game. Nope, not important. That does go illustrate what I was talking about with Luigi getting scraped off by his forehead. Yep. It's the perils of being too tall. And this is the point where I finally get a little fed up with all the battles and just start whipping out Magic Window. I've discovered a minor issue with Snack Basket in that since it is a ground pound attack, you can't hit enemies that are floating. Anything that you would miss with the hammer, you will miss with that. Yeah. You think you could just throw Luigi a little farther and you could just land on top of them? Heavy. Oh, crap. Well, it's nice knowing you. No, well, he's just Vader force choking you, I guess. That it was, uh, more of its farts. He was making some more stonks for us to fight. Yup, and they just smelt so bad. Oh no! Now it has shell power. Shouldn't Bowser be, like, losing all of these things as the Dark Star takes them? Well, I mean, it's not like Bowser only has one copy of his DNA inside his body, I hope. I don't know. He keeps the other copy inside that safe. Let's go. I have started recording the mini games. Even at half speed, they are hard. Yeah, I can imagine they'd be pretty rough with the emulator lag, even if it's very slight. It is very slight, but still. We got Rugged Socks as a defense boost. But yeah, even with the very minimal emulator lag, since I have a wired controller instead of a wireless now. Magic Window especially, because if you're playing at full speed, it is challenging to get. It's just hard to react fast enough. But if you're playing at half speed, it's a little more challenging to get inside the window. Right. I think I can do most all of them, even if the rewards are not really necessary. When you use Magic Window in combat, you can, like, kind of keep going... Can you keep going forever, or is it just really long? I think there is a limit, but it is really... You'd have to be really good. Yeah, it is up there.
Otherwise, yeah, you'll more than likely kill whatever you're attacking first. Right. Unless you're fighting, like, a boss. Right. Which is usually what you want to use it on. Continue having the issue where, on level ups, everything is just a large wheel of ones with a single three in the middle. The last time that you leveled up Mario, you got like a five on the stash. Yeah, his stash was way behind for some reason. Doesn't take as good care of it as Luigi, I guess. Well, Mario's out saving the world. Doesn't have time for personal hygiene. Luigi's just lazing about at home, so he just carefully brushes it and washes it every day. Trims it and waxes it. It's a fine sheen. And here I'm just showing that, yep, I got all the beans, there were only eight in this area. Probably take a second to talk about the air cannons. They have two attacks, one of which I could not get them to do during this recording. The one you've seen is they shoot four air bullet bills. They either go straight at you or go in a little loop, and the second two of the four will disappear as they get close. It's got to kind of time it. The one you don't see is it shoots them up and they do a large loop over the top screen, and then you got to knock them down with the hammer, but they also disappear as you get close. Are they disappearing because they're just made of air, I guess? That's what I assume, and they're becoming dispersed enough to not show up, but still compact enough to hurt. So you have, like, wind cutter cannons inside Bowser, being manned by Dark Star beans of some sort. Who you don't actually kill, because they just run away as soon as you destroy the cannon. The timing on the invisible ones isn't all that hard. For the looping ones, for me, I just wait a little longer than I think I should. And I'm normally okay. I don't know if it's my armor, my level, or just the stage of the game, but nothing is really hitting that hard anymore. But we did get a extra star wear, in case you weren't rolling in money or if you're doing a low level run. You can pick one up there. Finally caught up with the Dark Star, and we got a, get a nice little warning from Starlo. Better be prepared. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a ancient evil artifact that is a Chief Sentience and is trying to destroy the world, but we, we can come back and kill it later. Yeah, it's not like it's gonna do anything dangerous in here. Screw convention. I'm using my elixirs. Do it. Use everything. I am mostly using them because you do not get to take items into the bonus fights with you. You are just given a certain number of each item. So there's really no point in holding on to them. Oh no, it's split up so it could eat all the DNA faster. Now we have to go into the next stage where we have to travel through the airway and find the four parts of the Dark Star and defeat them individually before it reforms into the Dark Star itself. And then we can attack it then. Or it'll absorb all of Bowser's power. It's just a giant floating spirit Bowser. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. With Phoenix Wright hair, apparently. <laughs> awesome hair. This doesn't make any sense, though. The vacuum power isn't genetic. He has to have the special block that he got in the beginning of the game. That's true. Maybe the block, like, fused with him. Maybe Bowser always had the potential and the block just let him do it. So it's like Space Jam, but for sucking. Yes. So now we have to fight the 
Dark Star. Alright, let's start doing some di Oh. You cannot damage the boss directly. Not yet. His first attack is similar to the air cannons. It's got to time the hits. Move fairly slow. Later on, if there was a later on, there's not a later on. He would split into seven pieces instead of five. And occasionally two will come at the same time, in the same row. And if you hit the front one, it knocks this back one back as well. So he absorbed all that DNA, turned into a Bowser clone, and then when you fight him, he's just like, eh, not worth it. This power suck. I can make shadow copies of my opponents and damage them through the shadows. Why would I want to breathe fire and punch things? The trick here is the boss will spit out Dark Saddle Mites. I wish I was making that one up. You want to beat on them. They have a simple laser attack that should be easy to avoid. But I like taking hits with my face. Luigi's a pretty good tank anyway. His defense is quite high. Color-coded orbs, I wonder what that could mean. He's making one of those cool rainbow cakes. Sweet. There is actually one attack that the Dark Star doesn't show off, which is a giant laser beam. You actually have to do the same tactic from the... That was our fight in the clinic, where you have to grab onto Starlo and hover for a little bit. Oh, there's nothing to hit. Eh, just jump on him. Oh. The trick is you gotta look at the top screen and figure out which side the saddle might is going to and hammer it back. If you hammer the bomb, you take significant damage. You should be able to smack the bomb into him and blow him up. Well, apparently smashing explosives has unintended consequences. Oh. But he's vulnerable now, so lay into him with your favorite attacks. That would make for an interesting, like, Bomberman parody. You get, like, the bomb kick ability, but when you kick the bomb, it just explodes. Knocks your foot off, and you have to hobble around, losing health, leaving a streak of blood everywhere you go. That might actually be a little dark for video games. It's a bit much. Uh, in this form, the Dark Star will just counterattack with a laser. It has no attacks of its own. We've also taken off a very large chunk of its health. Mario, quit hogging the window. Nope, my window. For all the prep work Starlo encourages you to do, this is a fairly easy fight once you know the gimmick. It could be underleveled. That'd be about the only thing. It could be. I don't feel over-leveled. So, Magic Window was a... one of the many optional attacks, so maybe you just wouldn't have it. That's true. Because it is the best source of single target damage in the game. Yeah, so if you were stuck with some of the other stuff, it'd probably take quite a bit longer. But we're done. No, oh, go. Oh, what do buttons? What do buttons mean? What do buttons? Do? Oh, crap. Ah, it just does some damage. I actually wanted to see what would happen. I was looking forward to, you know, well, not looking forward to, but expecting to have to re-record this section. But uh, nope. Expecting a non-standard game over. Pretty much. I was expecting to just go, well, you're dead now, you've been sucked into the Dark Realm. So that's a actually a little disappointed. It should turn you into, like, Dark Mario and Luigi, and then you should have to fight them as Bowser. 
That'd be really non-standard. I mean, you got to fight Bowser as Mario and Luigi earlier. So you said switch it around and fight them as Bowser. That's a good point. You don't get to do that. No. I mean, I guess it's kind of against the whole Nintendo mindset. They don't want to encourage you to beat the crap out of their mascot. Alright, so I'll go pop in Smash Brothers later and beat them up. Yep. On the next episode, we will deal with Bowser's crippling halitosis. Nah, it's just breathing out Dark Star. We did get the Dark Star's rare drop, though, which is the D Star armor. It gives you an 80 point boost in power. That is quite high. That is a lot of power. That's like an extra. I don't even know. I was going to say 50%, but I think Mario and Luigi's power is a lot lower than that. Almost double. It's not double, but it might be a good 60-75%. This is what I was talking about previously with Fall Foley's being different. So now we have the Dark Star's Bowser, and it wants more power, and it wants to destroy the universe, and come on... I've been seeing this shtick for the last 20 years. Did it really need to disappear and reappear again to move, like, two feet? It's clearly floating. You even need to animate walking. Doesn't get anything out of Peach, just inhales her for shits and giggles. It apparently thought that she was going to give him a lot of dark power, and then was just like, eh, guess not. Yes, the stereotypical pure-hearted individual of this game series. Maybe this will give me dark power. The dark star is not the smartest thing. Just inhale mid-bus. Or, I don't know, the platform on the left. It must have copied Bowser's intelligence as well. Or lack thereof. Exactly. It can punch electricity out, which is a little frightening. Probably could have also just not gone through the electricity, because it's apparently, like, immaterial. And can teleport. It still feels the need to punch all this rubble out of the way. Well, it opens up the way forward. Thank you for watching.